All right, guys, we're getting on the water. I'm out here with Ty Pig Patrol. We're hitting the water early. The river right now is up quite a bit, so we're gonna go hit some backwater creeks. All right, guys, so we ran down the river and we're getting a couple of baits on. And we're gonna sit in one of these spots that we've had good luck in the past on. All right, guys, this is our bait. We're about to get this on out. My cap stands are a little over full in line, but considering it's 100 pound, I figured it was probably smart. Or something, that's what it looks like to me. Uh, I'm not saying that. Alright guys, so we had a run. We followed this fish. She went down. We actually just saw her roll. She's at least six foot, maybe bigger. And it looks like she's headed on back up the river right past us. So whenever she levels out with us in the front of the boat, we're going to go ahead and set on her and see if we can hook her on up. Back to the left. Trying to keep it low. Yeah, you're good. Float. She don't know if she's hooked yet. Don't jump on her. I'm going for slow mo's. Let me know if you want the motor up. Butters up. Let me know if you think she's gonna come up, okay? Okay. I'm slow mowing. Sorry. Pretty far back there. So they can definitely bloat if she wants to stay down too long so be okay with bringing her up slow let her decompress watch for air coming up if she'll decomp yeah. yeah if she'll do it on her own it's better than yeah. there, there us having there. to force it Versus, you go with that. Go on reverse. I can't do anything about it. How big is she? Six and a half, seven. She's white, dude. Uh, slow too. Watch out! Watch out! Back to the left. Ooh, yeah, it's seven for fish. Pretty sure. Unless she's just a monster tail. Oh. Not quite as big as I thought. Not seven. No, big though. But bigger than me. Bigger right. than you. I'm gonna come get her. That's an awesome jump. I want to do a really good job of like conservation talk and that sort of thing. If you have any ideas that you want to. You got a really big head. Okay, let me go for it. Sorry, I got to figure out what I'm doing. Sorry. Hold on. Just pull. Go, 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 go all the way. Hold left, out, and then go. You're not on the motor, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah, sometimes you gotta move. I put that motor down or else we would have been totally fine. She gonna jump again. Maybe work yourself back up to the front of the boat on the right side. She's stuck? No, there she is. I think she's 
she's done. Yeah. Casting Speed Demon Pro Meg Swim Bait Rod. That's on the 100 pound. I'm going to shoot her head to the left side. Just get ready for that. I don't like that. I just. Well, I almost just lost it. Oh, buddy. Oh. I got it. Dude, expert grab, dude. Expert grab. Let me make grab. sure I'm good on the side. Yeah, we're good. That was pretty impressive, man. Here. If you're good I'm with down that. To just uh, have you talk about it for a while, too. Okay, we can do that. Go. I got her. She's Don't good. Her, please. I got her. Yeah, so. Can we get up here? Uh, if you want, yeah. just bring that bag with you. This bag. Yep. We need the tag out of the main thing that has the hooks, and we need the measure. Do you have the uh, tagging needle? Yep, it's just in there already, ready to go. I just need the thing. All right, tell us why you're taking this fishing. All right, guys, we're on this tiny little creek and we caught this nice alligator gar. We're going to go ahead and get a tag in. We're tagging them so that we can tell which fish is which whenever we catch them in the future and see where they might have moved in the state and also how much they have grown. And a very interesting thing is each tag has its own tag number. And if you catch this fish, you go to the database, tagging database. Fishtagger.com, yeah. So the interesting thing is this, this tag has a number. And if you catch this fish, you go to fishtagger.com, put in this number, and you can see all the specs that Henry put in there when he tagged this fish. And you can to add see how your much own it's too. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to move our tail over here, give her a little push. Oh, so in order to get these tags in, we're just going to go back here behind these scales. These scales aren't interlocking quite as tightly as some of the other ones. So we're just gonna push this in. And look at that, perfect. <clears throat> She's scary. She might have been caught before, or maybe even a male. It's right. a male. It's a monster. Yeah. The interesting thing is, the males rarely get over six foot, guys. If you catch a gar that's seven foot, almost 100% guarantee it's a female. The males barely reach at six foot, or even over it, no, hardly at all. You got a massive head for a six foot four fish. My name is Henry Martin, uh, Catching Dinosaurs Guide Service. I come out here and I catch these fish. I catch them on a one-aught hook. I tag, I release them. And uh, my message is really to conserve these fish and not kill them and not kill them off, you know, in a few generations. There's a ton of people that come out here and kill these fish, kill them by the dozens, dump them in ditches, hit them in the head with hammers just to throw them back in the river. And uh, I just want to say that I'm against that and I stand against that and my purpose out here is to keep that from happening and keep these fish that live to be 100 years old and have been on the planet for 147 million years. My purpose is to conserve them, to keep them around. That way your grandkids can come out here and see one of these and catch one of these and not just have to watch videos of, you know, a long time ago of fish species that we sent into, you know, extinction just like so many others before them. But when you look at the fish, you can see the character it has from being in this river for probably over 30 to 40 years. And in my opinion, no human should have the right to take the life of anything that's been around that much longer than we have. My last point on this gar is if you put scales on a dolphin, you would come up with something that looked really similar with this. It might look a little ugly, but these serve the exact same function and purpose in the ecosystems as a dolphin, as a shark, as a whale, as a lion, as all these top level creatures. And these top level creatures serve to add balance to the ecosystems. They take out bad genetics and they take out invasive species and they actually add to the overall health of the rivers and oceans and ecosystems they inhabit. So that's my message. And I hope that people that come out here can see the respect we show these fish and might consider, you know, 
showing them a little respect too and maybe not killing them for no reason. <sighs> Live long and prosper. We're gonna hold her tail until wow. she's ready. Which is right now. <laughs> this is mimosa. If you touch it, it closes up. It's a really neat plant. I like it a lot. It's interesting where you find this plant, you find a lot of gar.